I've already done the uh, the rate that the exchange rate on the cost of a house in Nigeria versus like how many American dollars would it take to transfer to Naira if I wanted to move to Nigeria? I know mm. I wouldn't marry nobody in Nigeria. I got to take a man with me to Nigeria. I'm not going. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not dating. I'm not. Taste makers. Class. We do more than make a living. We make a life. Yeah. When everything is dark, we are the light. Yeah. We are the taste makers. All right, all right. Let tomorrow tell the stories that we make tonight. We do more than make a living. What happened is there was a a joint that went out that was basically telling us that there were other countries that were basically saying that you could move to these other countries and they would pay you to do so. They're offering incentives. They're offering incentives to move you to other countries. I guess these countries are just not populated enough or they don't have enough young people. The people are too old. Uh, they too stuck in their ways or whatever. And they want to pay people to move to these other countries. I actually think I might have a clip for it. Y'all know, you know, I might have a clip. Y'all know how, how this work over here when Brina's not here. Um, it could get a little wild. But I think I might have a clip. So uh, let's see if we could check it out real quick. Pay you an insane amount if you move there. Albany in Switzerland is facing a shrinking yeah. youth population, so they're offering a $60,000 incentive for new residents to settle there. And if you have children, each one will get you a $10,000 bonus. As long as you're younger than 45 and can commit to living there for at least 10 years, you'll qualify. And they're not the only ones. Plenty of other countries are doing the same thing, and they're all beautiful. Rizik Italy is offering 30,000 euro if you buy a home and settle there, and the homes are priced at around 25,000 euro. And Akithara, Greece, will pay you a monthly stipend to move and villages of Ponga in Spain are giving any young couple 3,000 euro if you stay for five years. If you bring children or plan on having any there, you'll receive an additional 3,000 euro for each one. Canada, Korea, Thailand, and Vietnam are all offering incentives too. Switzerland will pay you an insane amount if you move there. Albany in Switzerland is facing a shrinking youth population, so they're offering a $60,000 incentive for new residents mm. to settle okay. there. And if you have yeah, that, that loop was nice. Anyway, all that to say, listen, they are y'all really, forever. really, really moving out the country? Like, for real, for real? Like, for real, for real. I mean, not, not, not that, not, not saying like, this is not like, okay, they officially, 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 because we already know they be coming for us as black people, but... Not not saying that they, they officially, like, they really, really coming for us and we got to dip out, even though we know they've been coming for us for years. But I'm just saying, in general, right now, any of y'all really up and leaving the country like that? Yes. <clears throat> okay, go ahead. All I need, y'all already told y'all, I want to I wanna retire in one of two places, Belize or Costa Rica. Belize, Belize or Costa Rica. Or Costa Rica. I need oh. to find. I need to find. I just. I'm. I'm waiting on the the right combination of brother to take with me to Belize or Costa Rica. I need the. He needs to be the perfect combination of a few things. No, 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 no. What if he is in Belize or Costa Rica right now? Sorry, no, no. So this is where you don't want to take sand to the beach. <laughs> Fair enough, Tasha. <laughs> Fair enough. Please go over there first. Tasha said, okay. "Go out there and get shows." Please go Shout over out there to Anthony first. in the chat. Hey, Melissa. <clears throat> okay, so, okay. It's not just Switzerland. It first. I, I'm not looking then... to because there's plenty of African countries doing the same thing. There are parts of Cuba, parts of Brazil, um, um, parts of Mexico. I mean, when I say the Black expat communities in other countries is heavy, heavy, heavy. Like there are whole expat Facebook groups. That I may or may not be a part of, because mm -hmm. I've already done the oh, the rate that the exchange rate on the cost of a house in Nigeria versus like how many American dollars would it take to transfer to Naira if I wanted to move to Nigeria? I know mm -hmm. I wouldn't marry nobody in Nigeria. I got to take a man with me to Nigeria. I'm not going. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not dating. I'm not. Mm -mm. Woman. I'm a bring a brother with me. <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 The quality All of right. food, the quality of water, the quality of life. If you want your soft girl ever to really be your soft girl ever, baby, get on out this country. 
Most say black folk gonna get over there and find themselves in a scary movie. That's why we're not we're not going to Switzerland. Well, Tina Turner lived in Switzerland for many many years, and she managed, she lived in a but she lived in a castle, Lois of Key. She lived in a full Tina castle. Tina Turner. That's a right. whole other ball game, right there. That's Tina a whole other ball game. Turner. I wouldn't go to like Switz. I mean, I I've seen how Swiss, how beautiful Switzerland is, and all these other European countries. I'm not with the European countries. Take me to where the diaspora is. Okay. Yes. What you, what you got, uh, Charles? You gonna up and leave? You packing up the family? Listen, I lived overseas before. I've been there, done that. Wouldn't have a problem with doing it again. Um, it does depend on where. There's certain countries I'm not going to set foot in. Um, I got people over there. And by people, I mean like people that are not of my complexion. I love y'all. Not about to be your neighbor. Um, so full disclosure, I used to live in Italy. So to see Italy on that list, certain towns in Italy, I understand that because their population is pretty low. I think one of the biggest things they're finding in some of these places is uh, the majority of their population that's below a certain age, they're all like leaving. So I'm always curious as to why y'all leaving? Mm -hmm. what, are, what is it about, whether it be the amenities, the environment, the structure, the government, whatever the case is going on there, Wi-Fi. Got people running away. Why should we want to run to it? Just because y'all offering so many, is it really worth the price of admission? Um, and what I'm not about to do is be in a situation where it's like get out. So you know, Kalen said in the chat. I've mentioned it before. There are countries in Africa, Ghana, Nigeria, um, other places that are literally offering dual citizenship in in efforts to try to bring the diaspora back home. Now, there's questions into the motives behind all of that, but I'm down for it. If it means a better quality of life and I can, you know, have greater cultural experiences, um, my money stretches further, uh, my, my kids can can actually be surrounded by people that, that look like them and not necessarily speak like them. There's gonna be some cultural differences, but get a greater understanding of where we come from and understanding that our history started well before slavery. Then, you know, I'm not, I'm 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 not against it, you know. Got to talk to my wife and see how that goes. She's never left the state that she lives in, like as far as um, living anywhere else. She's been here, born and raised her entire life. Hmm. Shout out to Lost and Found in the chat, Tasha. Tasha, what you say? Oh my gosh! All this time I was unmuted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nah, no way. No way. Tasha. Okay. Come on now. We're, we're live. We are live. We are on no, no, no. Will you call? No, I muted myself because I drank some hot tea, so I didn't want y'all to hear the result of that. So I muted myself, and I thought I was still muted because I'm pretty sure the results continued while Charles was talking. So y'all ain't hear none of that. Okay. So never mind. Oh my god. I don't even know what y'all talk about. So I'll see the subject. <laughs> um go ahead, yeah. Tosh. Yes, I'm like, well see here's the thing. <laughs> the 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 statement of, you know, they might not be coming for us, coming for us. I don't know about that. <laughs> you know? I think I think in some respects we are the frog in the pot where it's like we don't realize it's boiling because yeah. It's been, you know, uh, uh, been gradual in some way. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe we're just really distracted by the fact that it's been that it's been boiling. So, um, yes, I would. I'm gonna tell you this. I know we didn't get to the story yet, but if there was like a federal law passed, like the one that was just passed in California, and I was a mom, that's believe I am taking Jamaica up on that dual citizenship. <laughs> you get up out of California. There is, a place, there is a place prepared for me. <laughs> okay, already. At least we know lost and found that you be in your word, because that means that's not your first time typing Philippians. <laughs> so when Apple saw that you were trying to type <laughs> the Philippines, it was like, no, we got you. Philippians, the church, the Paul was talking to. We got you. <laughs> I'm seeing. Listen, so you're saying that you might you might actually take them up on that. Oh, I'm gone. Okay. Now, I'm not going to a continent where I 
don't have some command of the language. And I would prefer to be around people that look like me as well. So it would be Jamaica for me or another English uh, speaking country. So likely the Caribbean. Um, let's, you know, I and might have, Caribbean I don't have a Caribbean. lot of family in Jamaica anymore. A lot of them have gone back to England, but I got, I got folk over there I'm going to run to if I need, if I really needed to, like if I really, really needed to, which at this point, I'm really asking myself, because I'm in Florida, like Florida, they're not exactly trying to create an Listen, economic landscape down Tasha, here. If you oh. can handle Florida, you will be okay with the U.S. of A. You in Florida. I mean, come on. No, but every it's like every month it's more expensive here to live here. It's like if you don't have two incomes or some kids to claim that on that EIC on your taxes, is is heavy on you, bro. And I'm like, okay, Lord. Where we going? <laughs> Up out of Florida. Is what the Lord is, the Lord is saying out of Florida. I had to get it out of here. <laughs> so, I like Charles, military brat. So, I've lived overseas and lived other places, whatever the case may be as well. And, um, you know, for those who don't know, my wife is Brazilian. So, I mean, I've been to Brazil, been, you know, Portugal. I was born in Panama, yada, 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 boom, 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 right? And so... Um, it's just interesting because, I mean, even as my mother-in-law is, is in town from Brazil and um, I was talking to my wife and, and she was just like, I'm like, is your is mom, you know, is she enjoying herself? You know, whatever case may be. She was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, she was like, it's just a different quality of life here. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm like, hmm, really? That's, that's, that's the word she used? She was like, yeah. I was like, okay, interesting. You know what I mean? And so just... You know, everything's, I mean, I could tell already just kind of like we, we, we so over consume in America. Right. Oh and I, and, and, and I don't really see, see it until I'm around uh, my Brazilian family. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm like, cause you know, they, we, we go to a store and get some food at a restaurant or something like that. Like, why is all this food in front of me? Like, what are they trying to do to me? Like, why are they giving me all this freaking food? Cause we just over freaking consume. Anyway, back to the point. Um, you know what? I'm going to say this. As jacked up as this country is, and it is quite jacked up, and they have been trying to get us, we uh, that frog in that boiling pot, yeah, that's probably, probably, probably very accurate. I have to admit, though, this is the country I know, and this is where I'm from. And ultimately, in some Stockholm Syndrome type way, I do love the U.S. of A. Um, if it ever got utterly ridiculous, which is a crazy statement to say out my mouth because it'd be utterly ridiculous. Um, I mean, I mean, I got plans to jump to Brazil. Don't get it twisted. You know, <laughs> you know, I got them plans, but I am then not actively start learning. The language, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. I blame my wife. Okay. Yeah, so nah, listen, don't blame your wife, bro. It's Babel. Uh... I I got them apps. I got Babel. I got all that stuff. No, I got them apps. babbling just... right now. I'm just quote saying. is going to leave the country when they outlaw bang to be produced in this country. That is when quote is going to leave this country. Well, then it's already a list of countries that he can't go to. <laughs> well, hey, then there's that. Like we need to know about these kind of things. So listen. Ultimately, I'm saying that if I got to go, I got to go. But specifically, you know, Hampton Roads, VA, the water, the beach. This is my, this is home. I love this. You, know, you said the water and the beach like it's not beaches and water <laughs> in other countries. I'm just, Bruh. <laughs> I'm not saying I wouldn't go. Said Barbados I'm just saying like 23 square miles. It's we are all here. <laughs> I'm just saying we are all here. And why are we all here? You feel what I'm saying? I, I, I think sometimes we be acting like we are so ready to go, but we still here. You know what I mean? And I'm just like, eh. See, I don't know if that's a fair way to say it, though. I think a lot of people are ready to go, but still here because circumstantially they don't have the means I mean... to go. Shout out to John H. in the chat. I don't My know friends who have it, lived outside of the United States long term talk about leaving the United States again. Like they hear, they feel stuck, and they're clamoring for the moment, the second that they can get up out of here. I've had friends who 
have I, I like literally I know people who've lived I have a friend who's lived in what 36 countries in his almost 50 years of life he is clamoring for the chance to get up out of here again he just waiting on the right set of circumstances he just needs the right he just needs enough money to get the heck out of here he came back during again. the pandemic because his family was here. He had elderly parents who had COVID and he came back here to be with them. And now he's like, I got to get out of here. Again, I was I born was, out of the country. I'm a military I brat. I've spent years outside of the country. Uh-huh. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I, I'm just saying, you know. This, this is my thing. I, I fell down the rabbit hole on TikTok of, you know, the Blexit folks, many of which went to Mexico. And um, I believe Canada, you know, there is sort of like a backlash movement now, you know, not only um, with people that went to those countries, but to other African, but to African countries as well, or just wherever, you know, there's sort of a backlash like, look, I wish I had known this before I left. (laughs) Don't y'all be picking up and moving to another country to live there before y'all know one, two, three, four, five. You know what I'm saying? But that's just wisdom. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they went out there and they they learned the hard way. You know? Um, I see someone wrote Wi-Fi is worldwide, but Wi-Fi is not the same everywhere. (laughs) It's a very, very Wi-Fi is not the same everywhere. Freedom is not the same everywhere. (laughs) Yeah, and and I think a lot of American, a lot of Americans don't really realize like that. Again, like, again, I'm married to Internationally, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm married to somebody who's was a lot of things born and raised in another country. You know what I mean? So even let's be let's be utterly simple, right? Like, my wife has been in the states for eighteen years, nineteen years. You know how many times we tried to get her mother here? We got USA passports. We just get up and go. Other countries can't do that. You feel what I'm saying? It's crazy. Like other people just can't get up and go. They got the money. They want to go. They got the will. And the embassy is like, no. Or they country like, no, nah, but if you slot us these dollars, maybe. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's, I'm just telling y'all. Freedoms. There's a lot of freedoms and liberties that we enjoy here. Um, there's a lot of benefits to it. I think for me, living outside of the country helped me to see the United States through the lens of the rest of the world. Now, I'm with you on that. And with, with that, there's so many things that happen here that are just trash, but we just deal with it. We just accept it because we've been propagandized to the point of believing like, oh, we're the absolute greatest nation in the world. Nobody can touch us. Nobody compares to us when it comes to this, that, and the third. There are plenty of other countries out there that have free health care. There are countries out there where they're not trying to pump you full of meds and kill you through the medication process. There are the other countries out there where whatever the food that we're eating over here is actually outlawed there because they found scientific studies that show this actually decreases and deteriorates your well-being and standard of living as opposed to helping you in a health standpoint to live longer. So there are certain things about this country that are detrimental. There's a lot of other stuff about this country that are beneficial. And, you know, to Tasha's point, I think if you're strongly considering going anywhere else, it's just a matter of using wisdom to really do your research, not just Googling, but trying to, you know, to his point, you know, maybe join some expat groups to really figure out what the word is on the ground there from from people who are actually living the life that you're trying to potentially get into. Um, Understand the backlash from the communities that are, you know, indigenous to those areas about folks moving in. And because we get that here in, in the U.S., you got people in the state of Texas that are mad at everybody from um, Cali and New York moving to Texas because they move in with their higher salaries and now prices are going up for people that are local to Texas. That's what's happening in Florida. Like high key. It's happening in California. trying to get out of Cali. And we'll talk about more of that a little bit later. But yes, yes. California is is definitely, California is definitely uh, leaving Cali on certain levels. But yeah, so I mean, it's just it's a different world than where you come from, and um, <laughs> we'll slide that in there. <laughs> and so I feel like you smiled before you said it because you have been planning to. How long you been holding on to that? It just came to my head, but I had to still say it. Nah, you were playing. Listen, that. 
no, 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 really. It did just come to my head. It did. But low key, I never forget. Um, just just to show you how different, how 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 lost in the sauce, and just how different, just different perspectives of different countries and different in the world. I never, I never forget being in Brazil a couple years ago, and um, they see black culture from America, right? And so we get to convers having conversations and whatnot, just talking race relations and different things. You know, we black people, we love to talk race relations because we got to deal with it. So, <laughs> so my wife would be like, why y'all always make everything about race? Because we got to deal with it. Because because the race stuff affects us. <laughs> huh? Say again? And Brazil you... compares how? In, in what way? What do you mean? I, I, I'm I'm curious where you're going with this because I don't oh, okay. read up. I don't read some. I don't read up. No, 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 no. Uh, Brazil wants to be America very, very bad. Oh, okay. So but they that. can't. Um, they can't become America though because they just don't have the money. There's there's levels to creating this system that is America. It's not just about different races being in the same place. There's more than anything, more than racism in America. We got classism in America. They ain't got yeah, classism like mean, that in Brazil, Brazil because is, Brazil is mostly poor. Brazil is running with the racism thing, is it not? Well, I mean, it's not it's still it's still not the kind of racist that we have here, right? It's still not to the level of racism not, like we have here. Oh, honey. Oh, no, no, no. It's still not to the uh, the level of racism of, of it's America. It's kind of apples to oranges, but it's still a big behind apple and a big behind orange. Well, listen. It's, 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 listen. A third of the slave trade went to South America, okay? So the little bit of black folk that we did get in America, South America, Brazil, they got so much more. The difference between them and us is not only did we able to get that influx of racism in America, but we've got that classism that we've stacked on top of it. Well, when everybody went there, it was a lot of mixing that had to happen because everybody was still po. You feel what I'm saying? So there was still a lot of max, mixing that happened that had to happen. Yeah. Now, don't be wrong. It's still the racism everywhere. So I'm not trying to say one place ain't racist, whatever case. I mean, I've already said Brazil tries to be America in many, many ways. Um, with all that being said, I was saying before we got to that joint, it's just how it's crazy how things reflect out. Like I remember talking to some people out there and I was like, like, OK, so how many like what percentage of America do y'all think is black? You know what I mean? And it was like, you know, 40%, 45%, you know, whatever the case may be, because they see us everywhere, because we are mm -hmm. American culture, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? And so when I, when I let them know, you know, that statistically we is only, you know, 13, 14, I know some people say 17, 20, whatever the case may be, percent, it was like, no way in the world. I was like, yes, there was only a few. But anyway, all I'm saying is it's just the different viewpoints of different joints and whatever the case may be, going back to uh, how how different countries view America, uh, as Charles was saying. But um, but no, no, everybody got their racism for sure. I don't, I just don't know that anybody beats the good old racism of US, o, US of A, except maybe England, because, you know, <laughs> somebody, somebody got to be the OG, right? <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> so, yeah, somebody right. got to be the OG. So anyway, that's what it yes. is on when you leave the country. So so chat, what y'all saying? Chat, uh, would y'all leave the country or what? Y'all y'all let us know. Would you leave the country? Would you go leave somewhere? Live somewhere Ain't nobody else? Nobody in the chat leave it right now, at least. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I mean, like I said, we talk a good game about heading out, but we don't be looking to head out. And so I wonder. I just wonder. You know what I mean? I'm just you know those are my questions. Um, but uh, they're not in the chat, but I definitely know some families where legit they just left the country. Yeah, a and very close friend of mine. In his... 65 days, they moved. They moved to Ghana. Yeah, mm. my friends just moved to Spain last year. With yeah, him, his wife, and their son. It was just like, nah, man. <laughs> no, nah, I hear that. I hear that. So that's what it is, y'all. Of course, of course. Taste makers. Class. We do more to make a living, we make a life yeah. When everything is dark, we are the light yeah. We are the taste makers, aye, aye, aye. Let tomorrow tell the stories that we make tonight We do more to make a living, we make